Hello, it's Alex once again, and today it is Turkey Day. It's Thanksgiving. Hopefully everyone is having a very good Thanksgiving and you're being safe no matter where you are. Uh, you're staying uh, socially distanced, not spreading COVID-19 to all of your family members and all that good stuff. Uh, we're flying solo as a family today. Uh, I just pulled the turkey out of the smoker. Uh, smoke a turkey and I always smoke a turkey every year and um, uh, at the end of this video I'll throw some pictures up of what the turkey looks like <clears throat> but while I'm waiting for the turkey to get done uh, cooling got about 20 minutes um, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and uh, do a quick Python video I'm gonna start learning some Python here. Um, I know a little bit of Python, but I kind of have picked it up and put it down. So <clears throat> what I've done is I've gone ahead on my repository, uh, uh, created a repository, my GitHub account, and I'll call it Python Tutorials, and I've cloned it down. If you go here, you can copy that link, and then you can clone down that repository right there. And I've already... Uh, I've already done that. I've actually got another terminal going here. I was trying to fix some stuff. So we can see here's my readme in here. Cat read me md. And it, it has exactly what we have here. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just simply print out um items to a screen here and to do that we have to first make sure that we have Python installed so I do have Python installed Python 3 uh, and so you can see I have Python here I have 385 and what you'll want to do is if you're running on Windows you can go to Python I think it's python.org uh, let's see And just go to the python.org and it's all of the stuff that you need is in this download section here this 3.9 is the latest one um, and so <clears throat> you'll want to install Python on your machine and once you get it all up and running you'll want to make sure that you have git installed on your machine as well which I do uh, if you don't have that all you've got to do is go to get for windows if you've got windows just go to get to window get for windows and you go here and you would just download it or I think it's just get actually yeah that's where you want to go right there and once you get Git and once you get Python installed on your machine if you use Visual Studio Code that's good if not and like I said, I've gone through another video on how to use Visual Studio Code and get it installed and everything. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to come in the file and say add folder to workspace. Click Python tutorials and click add. <clears throat> and then when we open up over here, we can see our readme and our file structure. That's here. And we're just going to click add a new folder and actually before we do that we're going to actually um, let's do one other thing let's click here in extensions and say github under the extensions and install this under our visual studio code we may have to restart here GitHub not worried about that part of it GitHub pull requests oh, we need to do the GitHub one here there we go And then we'll want to uh, 
reinstall um, we'll want to restart our Visual Studio here so let's just restart a Visual Studio code here and it should link us into our GitHub account here sign in continue open link it says signing into github down there and there we go so it shows down here in the lower left hand corner that we are in our python tutorials main branch and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new branch from, uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Create a new branch. We're going to call it um, lesson one. Hit enter. So now we have our lesson one branch here. And so now we're ready to add a Python, um, <clears throat> add a Python uh, file. So click new folder. We're going to call it lesson one. And in that new folder, click new file and call it Python. We'll call it menu or well, Thanksgiving menu. That pie. All right. So all we're going to do is we're going to print off to the screen what um, we are, um, what we're going to have, what we're going to have for dinner here, um, here at our house. So that's going to be real easy. So I'm going to put print turkey smoked, smoked turkey, print. Uh, corn bread dressing print um, macaroni and cheese print um, what else we have in here Cornbread dressing, mac and cheese, uh, oh, pecan pie, uh, print. Um, this is going to be made. Sauce print. It's like I'm forgetting something here. Give it gravy, pecan pie. Mm -hmm. Let's say that's it, right? Hit Control S on our keyboard, <clears throat> and we're going to come down here. And we're going to go into lesson one. And we're going to type Python. Thanks. Giving menu.py. Hit enter. And there we go. I know I'm forgetting something in here. But uh, those are the things that we've got on the menu. There's a green vegetable in there somewhere. I'm just forgetting. Um, so we're ready to commit this change. Uh, stage and commit this change so we're going to type git git well actually let's go up a level git add star git status and that shows us the file that we have and then that shows us the actual file file that we have and if we click on this we can see the file there 
And so now we're ready to commit. So we're going to say git commit m for the message added the Thanksgiving menu. And it shows that we have one file that's changed with six lines of insertions. These are six insertions. And we're ready now to push our change to our remote repository branch. Git push. And now it says to push the current branch and set the remote as upstream, use git push set upstream origin lesson one. Um, so let's just copy that, copy that, paste that, enter. And so now we've got our remote branch there. And if we go over to our GitHub account and we refresh this, we should have another branch in here. There's our lesson one branch. If we go into lesson one, we go into Thanksgiving menu and there's our code. And now we're ready to keep this separate before we push it over to our master branch. And it says 404 because that file doesn't exist in our master branch. So if I go back over to our, oop, not there, to our Python tutorials and go to our main branch there, um, we've got our README. And if we go into lesson one, we can see our lesson here where we added our Thanksgiving menu. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go along and add stuff to individual branches and we'll merge those changes into our main branch. Until the next time, uh, I think I hear the family and so it's time to start cutting up some turkey here. Have a good one and take care. Peace.